Oh, hey, I, uh, I didn't see you there. So, I hope everybody's having a really good holiday season. I had a bit of a weird experience while working at the library today. I was working on my new book, The Legacy. It, right. So just to kind of give some background on this book, The Legacy is about this man named Jay Hunt, and Jay has recently lost his father, and his father was a workaholic psychiatrist. And after his father dies, he leaves in his will for Jay to go to this cabin, and this cabin is all of, uh, his father's patient notes and he finds out that there is this one gigantic box labeled Danny Doberman and he discovers a 30-year obsession that his father had and that's the basic idea of the book I'm, I'm gonna put the link below to my website I've got a full synopsis so you can you can check it out because a little bit more detail but that's that's like the basic idea so I've gotten pretty far into the book and I I have been sprinkling actual notes from his dad's notebooks and that way the reader gets to read it while he's reading it and there's sort of uh, I guess not necessarily reactions but there's there's shifts in tone of the story as these things appear and the, I decide to change things up a bit in the middle of the book there's an interview between the father Henry and another patient. And I've been trying to figure out how to do this and the problem is Danny, the patient in question, doesn't talk. He chooses not to speak when he reaches a certain age so I'm like okay how can I convey in an interview uh, that's just one-sided and I didn't think that I could. So I came up with the idea of Danny having a roommate during a short amount of time because a lot of times people that have room with them don't want to stay there and this one guy ends up staying and it turns out that this guy is an, is an empath like he can feel things from people and, and he's sort of a, not necessarily a mind reader but he can tell certain things about certain individuals so the whole chap this whole chapter that I, that I wrote and worked on this afternoon has to do with this patient and the interview between him and the father and it was really tough to write uh, because a lot of the chapter has to do with him talking about the the emotions and other other things that that Danny is projecting um, it's like there there are a lot of times where he's like sure Danny doesn't speak because you don't know how to listen to him because you can't hear him on the frequency that I hear him so writing this dialogue was just I don't know I just I got near the end of the chapter and I had uh, a couple more lines that I wanted to write and I just I started shaking I this hadn't happened at quite this intensity before and I wasn't sure what it was exactly like I, I don't know how to explain it it was just like I felt very anxious and I felt uh, I almost felt how I would imagine that Henry would feel listening to this patient talk about uh, the emotions that Danny has projected onto him and you don't know if this patient was crazy to begin with because of his empathic abilities or if being a patient or being a roommate with Danny drove him to be like that and the reflections that he gives off to Henry the the, the feelings that he has and the obsession that he has with Danny it's just it's just like really I don't know it just like it just it just affected me in a certain way and I, I couldn't help but wonder if other writers experience this. It's like, you know, I, I've, I, I get sad when I have to kill off characters or when something really big happens. Uh, there's a point in Night of the Half Angel that kind of affected me in the same way, but it's like, it was like very minor compared to this. Like, I wasn't shaking, but it was like there was a, a whoa moment. 
and it wasn't necessarily I wouldn't even say it was necessarily a good and positive feeling because it was just like the whole chapter is not it's not this is not a a nice and cozy book to read it's it's something that I mean it's a drama and a suspense it's it's something that I'm experimenting with and it's it's either gonna do really well or and people will accept it and there will be people that don't know what it all means and I'm okay with that because that's kind of the intention it's it's kind of what I'm striving for so I'm curious if other writers have felt this way or if they've been affected by their own writing and it's like the worst thing was like I was like all the way out in public too it's like I was, I was in the library and I'm like shaking as I'm typing like is is literally like this like it's extremely noticeable and it's I couldn't stop but I wanted to finish the chapter so I did and I kind of recollected myself and had a nice chat with uh, with a friend of mine and I felt I felt better and I I walked home <laughs> Um, but it's kind of stuck with me, and uh, so I, I gotta wonder if you know writers like William Peter Blatty when he wrote The Exorcist or its sequel Legion, if he ever felt um, any any sense like that when he wrote uh, the exorcism scenes or, or any of the other he heavy stuff that are are in there. So this is a little bit long-winded, but I wanted to kind of vlog about this. This is sort of an impromptu vlog. I was just like walking home and I'm like, man, this is something I need to talk about. So comment below, let me know if you have ever had an experience like this. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Look forward to more videos soon. And if you like what you see here, you can check out my Phantom Lock series and Night of the Half Angel, which is available on paperback and ebook right now.